hi everyone this is malaya so i'm doing this story just to tell you to update everyone about my vaccination so i had my vaccine yesterday unfortunately i wasn't able to take a video of during my vaccination because it was very cold so hindi na ako nakakuha ng video but anyways it was given i had it yesterday um the one i had is pfizer i th i think uk approved two types of vaccine the modern the astrazeneca something but in our trust which is given by given for free we they're giving us the pfizer so it has the your batch numbers and everything and then they gave us some leaflets of what are those um effects what to do if there are side effects and everything so when i went there um i filled up some forms like histories if you have allergies or what then they're gonna punta ka na dun sa nagpa-vaccine unfortunately with me the one who vaccinated me was a doctor from our unit so i know him and it was a parang napaka smooth talaga ng pagbigay niya sa akin because i have like a slight fear of needles but with him it was very smooth and very light yung kamay niya, hindi mabigat yung kamay sa niya so it was, it was very fortunate for me so and then before giving the vaccine he had to explain to me what are the side effects what are those expected na feel namin when giving the vaccine which uh, he has to like explain it briefly to any to, to me and then she gave the vax he gave the vaccine on my non-dominant hand which is on my left side uh, because apparently you will have some side effects so he said um according to my some of my colleagues and what he said to me is that like, of course you have like tenderness on the side you're gonna feel heaviness on that side as well some of my co-workers had had aches if you had aches and body malaise but they said it should not be should not last for more than four to eight hours or two days um some of my colleagues had slight fevers um i heard one of my friend had like chills um so we were advised to not take the vaccine while you're on a chef uh, because of course the pain is going to be there or if you're have it should be like take the vaccine in your day off so you have like rest day so to avoid um calling off sick so but for me i had it yesterday i was off but i will be doing my night shift later which is today um the next day after the vaccine which is today so i'm gonna be on night shift so it was very i can still feel the pain and the first from yesterday until night time i can't lift my left hand because it's too painful but i took paracetamol like few minutes after they gave me the vaccine so because i was like expecting it to be like painful because before when i had my flu job i had the same thing Oh my god. I'm doing a vlog lab. Okay. Um so and then yeah, so I was like might as well take the the paracetamol so I will not pain so it will be pain free. But then unexpected masakit pa rin pala siya. It's very painful. It's not the usual pain when I had the flu 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 job. But I aside from that, I didn't have any. I didn't have any fever or body malaise just on my left hand lang talaga i can't lift it at all kahit hawakan mo siya you can't touch it because it's too t painful um when i wake up earlier i fell asleep after the vaccine when i came home because i was too tired i came from a night shift so i was too tired so i fell asleep and were, i i was well rested and when i wake up mm, and when i woke up it's still very painful so i have to like take again another paracetamol and then bef on the night time because it's still very painful i can't i can't even lie on my on that side because it's too painful so earlier um in the morning when i would wake up masakit pa rin siya um so we went we are support we went for grocery today um i decided to take ibuprofen instead of paracetamol and and it was as in nawala yung pain niya i can lift my hand now there's a bit of pain but it's much much better so i think ibuprofen is much effective in terms for me in terms of pain relief but if you can still i can't really you can't touch it really because it's very tender um so i think yeah that's it for me so i'm still on the 20, uh, first 24 hours after i received the vaccine 
so i feel a lot better i think i can work later for my night shift but i don't i don't i don't think i can really do heavy lifting but that's fine so but i think i should be all right as long as i take another pain relief for later before coming to work then i th i think i should be fine so that's it that's for my pfizer vaccine and this is for those who are interested of how was it if you're thinking if you're gonna get it or not um i was honestly i was very anxious before getting the vice the vaccine because um, i read some few articles about side effects and then there are some people i think there was one article that came out just a day before my vaccine that the doctor died somewhere out there i was I, it's it, it does it did really made me anxious but eventually i said um um it's because of my line of work i'm a nurse and we are in a covid area now we've been exposed so for so many covid patients and with the new strain floating around here i think it, it's it's in my benefit to take the vaccine so i took the risk and most of my colleagues they buy if ever just something can happen it's gonna happen to all of us so but i don't, I don't think so hopefully there's nothing's gonna nothing's gonna happen but I, I do i do think so it should be right so yeah if you're still deciding if you're gonna take the fights or not I hope that my my that my experience help you. I will I will give you an update in the next twenty four hours, if 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 there's another or the side effects are still there, if the pain is still there. So we'll see. Hopefully, other things get. Hopefully, lahat magiging okay na lahat. Uh, because of eventually you. We can't do anything for the COVID. The only thing that we can do is, aside from the social distancing and everything, is just to take the vaccine and hopefully it's gonna work. Yeah, that's it. I am vaccinated. Bye.